And we're back to learning Escape, and this time I'm going to show you how to create a chevron. You can use the render function to create the basic elements. So go to render, gear, and rec gear. Let me check the live preview, and important is the contact angle, it needs to be 45 degrees. That way we get this zigzag line. Let me increase the rec length. Let me set that to 1000 and 100 for the tooth spacing. And I've set the most important parameter here is the contact angle and the rest. Just play around with it until you've got what you want. When I size it up, I'll hold Control and Shift. Let me put that right here. Now I'll go to Object, Fill and Stroke. Then I go to the stroke paint and add it. And on a stroke style, I'll play around with the width to make it thicker. Let me use 300. That should be fine for this size. Maybe I'll use a different color, something bluish. You can copy the hex code if you want to use the same color. Now right click and duplicate and you can see the shock key for that is Control D. So keep that in mind. I'll drag the copy downwards and I'll change the fill and stroke for that to something grayish. Maybe a dark gray. So the easiest way to make it snap to one another is to select it all and go to path and stroke to path. Now when you've got a snapping enabled in the right menu, you can see that it now snaps to each other. Then select it both, press Ctrl D, which duplicates it. And you can repeat the process until you've got the chevron that you need. Keep in mind when you want to play around with the colors, you can do so easily, once again with the object, fill and stroke. But important is that we don't have a stroke anymore as we've converted it to a path. It is now a fill. So if you want to change the color, do that under fill and not under stroke. And this is how you can create a chevron in Inkscape. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.